What was the last thing? As an in-game leader side of things, what should you focus on trying to achieve in general? You're trying to achieve map control, so I can never stress that enough. Unless you know exactly what the opponent is doing and you have an execute that will perfectly counter, counter it. So let's say if you know that the enemy is playing city spawn, stairs, mid window, cat and B, then you can say, let's do the A smokes, let's run up A and plant the bomb and play the post plant. You know how they're going to react. You can do that. You know they're going to play for the retake. And all you have to do is win the post plant situations. That's simple. But if you don't know how they're playing, let's say they're mixing it up, they're playing, you know, moving the op around, or they play like they mix it up between doing retake and regular thing. What you want to do is you want to take control of the map. And map control on this map would be taking control of the middle area. And once you have control of the middle area, Sapper 777, thanks for the sub, dude. Or you're in the ladder room or you're like under window at connector and ready to come connector sorry up underground under the window ready to come connector when you have control of mid and you've pushed the counter terrace into the bomb sites i wish i could draw on the map right now actually i'm i'm gonna go spec so i can draw on the map so basically you want to funnel the counter terrace to be on this side of the blue Because what realistically happens is, I'm going to change that color to red, it cuts the map off in half for the counter terrorists, and then it allows the terrorists to do either A hit or B hit, and they control the rotation. So they the terrorists maintain control of cat, which means that they can do end connector and window, which means that you can do a splits, B splits, A fakes, B fakes, double fakes, or your normal strats. So let's say you go here and do a four man execute at A or a four man execute at B. You can do any of these things if you have mid control. So that's what you want to focus on as a terrorist. If you push the counter terrorist back into the bomb sites and you make them play humble, and they give up CT, so they're they're controlling like their mid guys are, are falling back to this location here, and you control this area, window room and cat room, and also like mid and cat, just like this area in general. You can do just about anything. So that's what I stress as an in-game leader. Find out a way where you can take control of this with minimal casualties and using minimal grenades. So one way you can do it is smoke off window. That usually makes means that whoever is a CT has to run around and play mid from connector. And then what you can do is you can throw nades at him. You can post an opera here, so an opera and stay back mid and take care of anyone connector. You can push guys up like close middle and then take control of connector. You can smoke off connector as well. And then you can basically, if you smoke off connector and win at the same time, now you can run into ladder room and take control of ladder room. So. It depends on how you want to take control of it and how the enemy team is playing. Um, instead of doing a window smoke, you can do the smoke on cat that I showed you guys earlier, where you can come up the right side of the, the smoke, or you can come ac across top mid. And you can also throw grenades through the smoke into connector. So you can take cat control this way, have a smoke here, one person runs into there, and one person can come here with an op. And this guy over here will look t for any CTs who are on cat, just at this angle. So there's different ways that you can take mid control and cat room control and just push the counter terrace back. You can utilize smokes in there. You can utilize a smoke here and you can utilize an opera. You can boost over the smoke. You can nade stack in here. You can molotov the window. Um, you can smoke off cat and window and do a fast split onto A. Like there's so many things that you can do to make the CTs humble. And if you get to push them back, that's when you're gonna have the most success with your strats. So if you have one or two players who are just like lingering around in mid and you have three people on A side and you start smoking off, let's say you smoke off CT spawn and you smoke off jungle, or let's say you have three people here and one person here and you smoke off jungle and stairs and spawn, and let's say one person's halls, now you can do an attack onto A and the CTs are gonna be here, one here and two here. As soon as you guys start making contact, the guy who's middle lurking 
or let's say he's not even in this position, he can be in this position. Either way, he's going to be coming out and he's going to be flanking connector or he's going to be flanking to cat, like to jungle room and everything. So these CTs are going to be focused on A when all these smokes and flashes and gunfire is happening. And this guy is going to be making the big lurk. So having control and getting him pushed up into an aggressive position like this is going to make your execute stronger because now you have a really powerful lurk. If you just leave him top mid like this as a lurker at the start of the round and you say, okay, let's do our smokes here and the smoke CT spawn, then this guy needs to still make it all the way to connector. And there could be a guy still in window room, a guy in connector, a guy on cat, anything like that. You haven't pushed the CTs back. More than that, what can also happen is the CTs could be pushed through B or the CTs could be, you know, stacked heavy on A. And if, if the CTs are just staring at you ramp and holes both at the same time and you're coming out both of these locations at the same time and you don't have anybody in mid at all then they're just going to rape you coming out of, of hallways but if you make the distraction and your teammate comes out from the back and starts isolating all these counter terrorists that are here then you're going to win the round it's that much easier to win the round 